This is me. And I went to the world's weirdest border town. Derby Line, Vermont. Or if you live in Canada, Stansted, Quebec, eh? I went through farmlands and hills to get here. And then finally, I reached our hotel. I walked inside, not knowing what to expect. I went to the door and found another door. I opened that door, and then I found another door. But finally this time, looking up, I saw the weirdest hotel I have ever seen. There were many rooms in this hotel, such as a dining room and this weird German bar, but I couldn't record it so I replaced it with this goat. Walking upstairs is boring, so here's this montage. And then I finally made it to my room, which included a shower, a bathroom, and a totally not haunted mirror. Hello. But then I got bored and went to dinner in the German bar. Here's what it looks like. Then we had some steak, and it was pretty good. But you know me, and I got bored again, so I went out to the town to see what it looked like. At this point in time, we were dangerously close to the border. We talked to this American border agent, and I'm so glad that we did. Little had we noticed that there were two sets of gates. And if we had accidentally gone by them, we would have been in Canada. The problem with this is that we could have been detained for hours due to the fact that we did not fully have the vaccine. So props to that border agent. After this, I went back to the hotel, brushed my teeth, and went to bed. <laughs> the next morning I found this dog, and then I had breakfast, which was pretty good. Like, can't you see the pure satisfaction on this guy's face? What the dog doing? I went out again, but this time, we might finally be able to cross the border. And here's how. The Haskell Free Library. This library was founded in the 1800s, and inside, one part of the library is in the United States, and the other part of the library is in Canada. And it's totally legal! And I was doing it. I was taking my first steps into Canada. I had done it. I'd never been to another country before, so this really was a big moment. I looked outside and I saw the other side of those iconic flower pots. I ran victoriously through aisles of French books that I definitely did not understand. And I met a moose whose head couldn't fit through its hunter's door, so it was donated. But no time for celebration. It's time for a tour of the iconic opera house. Which in fact is the only opera house in the world that contains two countries inside of it. It's also got pretty paintings. And pretty lighting. I did some diplomatic talks, uh, with myself. Then I left the library and I went to the park. As we were driving through town one last time, I remembered something. Remember the border guard yesterday? He also told us a story about the town, and how it used to have way more people in the 70s and 80s. However, due to a less of need for essential resources, such as metal, that was made in the town, people started to move away. And as it became a smaller community, when COVID hit, most of those remaining people left the town for good. And sadly, on the American side, it remains a ghost town to this day. However, from what I've heard from the few remaining locals of this town, people from all different countries have been visiting this town for its interesting features, and hopefully one day, it will return to its lively state as it was before. As a person who has visited, I would certainly recommend coming to this place. It has a rich history, and is an exciting experience. And that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe so I can make more content like this, and peace.
کرد و اینها 